Welcome to the Asset Editor Tour. First off, you might be wondering what exactly an asset is. Assets in your games are images, tiles, tile maps, animations, and music. The Asset Editor is a tool to see and create all your assets for your project in one place. With this editor, you can currently edit images, tile, tile maps, and animations. The Asset Editor lets you draw your images before coding and provides a better experience for asset creation and text-based coding. The information panel to the left of the grid gives you a detailed view of each asset, and the icons in the bottom left of each preview will indicate whether or not it is an image, tile, tile map, or animation. Now, let's open a blank project and start building some assets. Click on the green New Asset button and select the type of asset you want to create. We'll start off by creating an image asset. Let's draw a person. Once your image is drawn, you should give it a name in the bottom right. If you don't give it a name, it will be given a default name such as my image. Let's name our image Vivian. When the asset is selected, there will be a preview of the asset in the information panel with its name, type, and size. From there, if you click edit, the image editor will open and you can mod your image. If you click duplicate, a duplicated version of the asset will appear in the editor with a number at the end of its name to distinguish it. This is also helpful for moving an asset from the Gallery tab to the My Assets tab. Let's do this with the Tile asset. Let's mod the tile that we just copied over from the Gallery. Let's change the color to pink. If you click Copy, the asset will be copied onto the clipboard. You can then use Ctrl V to paste the image into the editor or into another project. Lastly, you can delete unused assets to keep your assets organized. However, if an asset is currently being used in your project, you will not be able to delete it. When you make a tile map, you will see your custom tile in the My Tile section of the Tile Map Editor. Let's make a tile map with our newly modded tile. Animations are also easier to make now. You can click on New Asset Animation and be launched right into the Animation Editor. Let's go ahead and animate the image Vivian. To see your animation move inside the Asset Editor, you can hover over the preview in the Information Panel or hover over any of the animation assets displayed in the thumbnail view. Now let's see how you can use your assets in your game with the Blocks Editor. To use your image, you can drag out a Set My Sprite to Sprite of Kind block. Click on the Image Editor and you will see a tab at the top titled My Assets, which contain all of your assets. You can select the image that you want and it will be imported into your project. If you select an image from the gallery or draw your own image, it will now appear under My Assets. And this is very important. If you create an image this way and do not name it, it is considered a temporary asset, which means that as soon as you stop using it in your project, it will delete itself. This prevents unused or old versions of images from being unnecessarily saved to and cluttering up the asset editor. Named and temporary assets behave differently in blocks. To see this, we'll drag out the image block of our temporary asset. This makes a copy of the image, meaning that if you edit the original, the changes will only be in the original and not the copy. In comparison, if you drag out the image block of a named asset, such as the image Vivian, both image blocks are referencing the same asset. So if you choose to edit one of the images, the changes will occur everywhere else that the Vivian image exists. Now let's drag out a tile map block. To access your custom tiles, click on My Tiles in the tool panel on the left. If you created tile maps in the Asset Editor, select My Assets and then the tile map you wish to work with. At this point, you can either use the tile map as is or you can edit it. With this new update to make code, not only do we get the Asset Editor, but now animations are built into the editor so you no longer have to use an extension. To use your custom animations, expand the advanced categories and open the animations drawer. Drag out the animate my sprite with frames block. Choose the sprite that you want to give the animation to. If the sprite isn't created yet, drag out the set my sprite block. Open up the animation frames, go to my assets tab and choose your animation and then hit done. In blocks, you can choose the speed of your animation and whether or not you want it to loop infinitely. The experience for making assets in JavaScript or Python is much better with the Asset Editor. 
Previously, whenever you create an image in a text-based project, you would see the character representation of your image in line with your code. Now with asset names, you can use your asset by its name instead of the raw hex. Assets are referenced by their type, images, animations, etc., with their name in between the ticks. For example, because we created an image called Vivian in the asset editor, I can reference it as assets.image tick Vivian tick. A tile map named my neighborhood is referenced as assets.tile map tick my neighborhood tick. We can't wait to see what you'll make with the asset editor. Thanks for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe. Bye!